morning. <coughs> it is 9am on Friday the 20th of September and it is time for Today in My Brew Journal. So how are you? I've got a sore throat and the sniffles so I've got a cough sweet in my mouth so I apologise if I'm a bit garbled or my mouth seems to be out of shape it's a soothers and I'm just trying, I'm waiting to get to the liquidy bit that makes your throat feel better <laughs> so question I have a frame punch board which I was going to demonstrate on Wednesday's live but um, due to the post office here being a dick it didn't actually arrive until Thursday and then I was just so tired last night I wasn't up to um, demonstrating it sorry <laughs> my brain is like um, so do you want me to do a separate video over the weekend of how this works or do you want me to save it for the live on Wednesday let me know that was all I had to fill in yesterday my light care. I need to do the writing lighter. I find the writing is distracting for me. Mm. My computer has updates ready to install. Oh, you glad I told you that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Come on, stats to load up. 18,400 almost. That's not bad. It's Friday! I don't do anything out in my garden. <coughs> um, mm -mm -mm. I need to set up the races. Right, I'm going to do that quick. Shit, now I put that in next Saturday. I think my mother wants to go this Saturday. I've also put going to Austin's in the wrong place. For fuck's sake. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's what I get for trying to journal when I'm tired, and that's what I get for having two weeks on on a spread. Sometimes it does get a bit confusing, so I might have to move a few things around. Okay, so journaling wise, I journaled a little bit there. I stuck in Daryl's injury form and then journaled sideways next to it. So yeah, right, we'll change the pen. Hang on, I'm just having a nose. An ambulance has just gone screaming past. You might have heard it, but it went screaming past slowly. <laughs> screaming as in the sirens were going. And that's unusual for traffic to move slowly here. Or an ambulance to move slowly here. And I thought it might have been pulling in. And you know, I just thought I'd go nose, because you do that. But it's not. It's the, the traffic at the there's lights all the way down the end of the road. This time in the morning traffic gets backed up, so that's what it was. All right, I'll change in the pen, won't I? I have done my day face cream, and I have some makeup on. Literally, my makeup consists of some powder, and it's that stuff where you don't see. Is it translucent? Is that the word I'm looking for? Um, just to take the shine off, really, because I have quite a shiny face. Not oily, just shiny which is really annoying, especially when I'm tanned, which I am at the moment. A um, bit of lippy and a bit of mascara. That's it. I don't wear any other makeup other than that. Oh, let's pull a card. We haven't done one for a while. I've just been so knackered and so out of it. There's so much going on, you know? Right, let's see what colour I pull out. I guess we're doing everyday witch tarot then. So we are on the 20th and then some days I just don't feel it, you know, you think oh I've got to do it and it, if it's more of a oh god I've got to do it then I won't do it because I'm like well I do this because I enjoy doing it, I don't want it to become a, a chore or anything like that, you know. The lovers. The lovers does not necessarily mean a romantic or intimate situation yeah um, it basically means relationships of all sorts 
Um, you know, whether that be a friend, um, a family member. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, or it could mean, a, you know, it could mean romance, your partner, you know, your your significant other, your soulmate, whatever you want to call them. Um, this could mean a new relationship. This could mean a rekindling of a relationship. But it is basically screaming relationships at you. Um, you know, if if uh, if you and a friend maybe haven't talked in a while, it, you might be hearing from them soon. Um, you know, if you're out, if you're in the market, this might mean that you know there's a potential suitor out there for you. So there you go. Keep your eyes peeled. I've put relationships. I've just realised my mic is six million miles away. <sighs> relationships. This could mean a new one or the rekindling connecting with someone you know. <sighs> I apologise for the sound up until now. I will have had to have boosted it so you can hear me. I've just realised my mic was all... I move it out of the way because it's right here. Literally, it is like just off camera here and um see this is it here yeah let me and begin so you guys can see it better this is my mic here and it's that low so that when i'm leaning over like that i'm still in line with it so that you guys can hear me and when i'm working in the evening and i've got a drink on the go yeah you know, cup of tea or whatever i move the mic out of the way otherwise i keep hitting it and then i start recording in the morning and i forget I just hope you can hear me at all, actually, because I didn't even do a sound test this morning, so I might all be doing this with no noise whatsoever. So yeah. Maybe I should get back to bed. Somebody in their car is making a phone call on the audio system, you know, because it's illegal here to use your handset while driving, but you can use your car's in-car system. And it's so loud, I have double glazing windows and I can hear it ringing from here. Dude, now according to this, I only slept. Oh, there you go. That was good. That's a bit better. I slept for seven hours last night. Awesome. Though I was awake. Well, that's what that says, but that might be wrong when I get to it because it probably thinks I went back to sleep at half five and I didn't. So I went to bed early. I was in bed by 11. Well, well, I was in bed by about half past 10, but I don't think I went to sleep till about 11 just before 11 and I slept until half past five really <clears throat> so a better night but boy I was up early which means I'm gonna be fucking knackered tonight and um, Daryl bless him he spent yesterday walking around like a dog with an injured paw well actually he didn't even walk around he sat on the sofa next to me feeling all miserable and shit due to this injury on his hand he's got a little scab right there so it's it's right you know so he's basically he's walking around like this you know holding his hand out his both knees are bruised so needless to say we basically spent yesterday cuddled on the sofa i didn't even chuck him in the bath because he was he was feeling quite sore and although i know it would make him feel better i also know that it hurts that initial getting in the bath and I, he was quite tired and he's also fighting this cold and i thought Do you know what we're just gonna go home and sit on the sofa and we sat on the sofa watched star wars which is awesome we watched empire strikes back um the return of the jedi tonight <laughs> which was awesome and um, we both really really enjoyed it and he went and he crashed out and i thought you know oh um he'll feel better by morning because he'll move in his sleep and, and all that lot and his legs are all right but his hand is still really quite sore and i thought it's because he's not moving it and i know it hurts to move it but it also it prolongs it if you don't move your hand when you've got a little graze on it he's got like a little sort of double graze. it's on my instagram if you go and have a look he's got like this he fell and he skidded he tripped over one of the other lads so um i said to him so you need to move you need to move and he's like oh you yeah. know he's very like i don't want to i don't want to because i know it's gonna hurt so in the end what i got him to do was um you know that anxiety exercise where you touch your fingers to your because it makes your hand bend there 
So I said to him, can you do that? And he was like, no. I was like, yeah, you can. I was like, go on. Can you count and do it? And how fast can you do it? And how fast can you count with it? And by the time he went to school, he was really going for it. You know, so I've told his teacher, if you see him not using his hand, make him do the finger thing that mummy taught him this morning. So she was like, right, gotcha. <laughs> you know, bless her. Right. It is Friday. I've done the loo because I do the loo as part of my get up, brush your teeth. I get up. I get up and come down and have a cup of tea and then Daryl and I go up says we get dressed we brush our teeth we brush our teeth we get dressed no we brush our teeth I wash my face I just splash cold water on my face then we go and get dressed and then um I clean the loo before I come back downstairs just give it a white round and whatever um so that all gets done together which is it, part of that morning routine isn't it but I've lost like the evening routine of cleaning the worktops and sweeping the floor and uh, all my monthly stuff is again hasn't been fucking done my house is disgusting at the moment i need to get out there but i just got so much going on when do people find the time right so i need to decorate the new insert the one that i did on wednesday i need to make my junk journal cover which i'm probably going to do this weekend um i don't know whether i'm going to do it here <laughs> i did tidy my desk last night in an effort to try and make things a little bit more accessible or whether I'm going to go and use the sewing table because that's bigger. But if I go and use the sewing table, I can't film it. You know, because my overhead is attached to my... I would have to move a shitload of stuff, which just is not possible. Or whether I come and do it here and struggle. I will probably come and do it here and struggle, to be perfectly honest, just so you guys can watch. I don't know. <clears throat> so there we go right i also need to what do i need to do today all right i've spoken to everybody do they want to be in this weekend and to get in if they do and let me know so i do that tonight can't believe i wrote those in the wrong place oh well that one is easy because i can just move that over there i really don't want to miss wendy's like because i hate re-watching lives because it's sort of like it feels like you're being excluded from a conversation I, just, I can't quite put my finger on what it is that i don't like um so yeah i don't I, i've never liked re-watching lives i very rarely do it i mean i love watching cindy but i because she tends to go on quite late when she does a live <clears throat> i will watch a bit of it and then i'm like right i'm off to bed because she you know she's going way over my bedtime and I won't go back and catch up because it's just like, I, you know, I can't, I'm too tired. I appreciate if people watch, rewatch my lives. I think it's, you know, bloody great if you do, but I, I just can't do it. I don't know how people manage it. It's like assuming that everybody's talking about you when you're not in the room, you know? I know, I know they're not, but it's, you know. I didn't use my, my pad thingy. I'm trying to draw this on a slant is my son's birthday in five days we haven't gotten presents yet i need to talk to him find out what he wants oh right weather oh fucking hell i feel like crap eighteen high seventeen low oh six forty seven sun up and eight minutes past seven for sunset Oh, isn't that depressing? I'm looking forward to next month because I will find a drawing challenge next month because I'm really missing not doing any drawing. It's two months running. I just haven't found a challenge that I like, really. Um, but, of course, with it being Halloween and that next month, I expect it to be all bats and cats and witches on broomsticks and pumpkin faces and all that kind of thing. So I'm quite, you know, I want to find a funny one. And if not, I might make, bloody well make one. Right, 20 is crisp. Crisp. That's me all set up for today. I don't have anything in, but mother, mother and I are going out to lunch today. So, um, yeah. That would be quite good. So I'll talk to her then and say, Mommy! But I also need to talk to my eldest because my eldest will be babysitting. <sighs> I've written down that I've got a nail appointment next week, haven't I? Yes, I 
do. That is probably going to be my last nail appointment um, for a couple of reasons. First off, um, Sarah is so chock a block that um, she doesn't have spaces. Once you're in, you're in. Do you know what I mean? Um, which means that I probably can't change my appointments from evenings to daytimes because I said to her, I would be open to doing days if somebody wishes to swap now that Daryl's at school. And she said, yeah, that, okay. She said, I'll, I'll find out. And um, now that Alex no longer lives here, I don't have somebody here to babysit. And, you know, I don't want to keep asking somebody, drop drop what you're doing for an evening and come up and babysit. It's different if they already live here. Do you know what I mean? Well, you're here, you're not doing anything. Could you babysit? So I've said to her, you know, could you move me to days? And she hasn't come back to me. If she doesn't answer me, that usually means no. <laughs> So I probably I'm going to go in on Tuesday and say to her, take the acrylics off, give me a manicure and cancel future appointments because I just can't do it. I just can't get in there. The, you know, the only people that are available to babysit are my kids and only two of them really are available to me. Um, and even then, I think Kyle does some on Tuesdays, doesn't he? So the only person is Callie and I don't want to keep asking Callie if she can do it because that's not fair. You know, um, yeah, see Kyle goes to people first meetings on Tuesday nights. Matthew works at really weird hours. He's a chef. So the only person available is Callie. And that's just, I'm not going to keep asking her to do it because, you know, she's got a life and her partner works odd hours as well. So she wants to see him when she can. So I think, yeah, I'm probably going to cancel my appointments when I go in and see Sarah and just say, yeah, let's get the acrylics off so that I haven't got to outgrow them. Uh, give me a manicure, you know, whatever, something nice. Give me a little bit of love and uh, I'll leave it at that. So yeah, sad, but you know, I have to do it every now and then for whatever reason. I've done it I've done a couple of years before I, around about the time I fell with Daryl because I wasn't living here um, and I didn't want to go to anybody else. I was living on the mainland for a bit and um, when I moved back here that was one of the first things I did I went to Sarah I need an appointment and she said well as soon as I've got a space I'll, I'll squeeze you in and she's always done it in the evenings for me but it's no longer convenient and there's just not space so it's also the financial side of it you know with Alex not living here and contributing I'm not you know I've, I've got no extra money coming in so it just makes it a little bit tight so there we go anyway I'm going to go and see my mother and do a bit of cleaning down the road and go and have lunch. So, wow, that bit looks really white. <laughs> oh dear, at least it's neater. Uh, I might just keep it this length and be done with it. Trim it up once a year. Thomas, I love the look of long dreads, I really do, but wow, they get heavy. And I'm certainly getting a lot less headaches now that I've cut it, which is a bonus. Absolute bonus, but... I just miss having no dreads. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might go to the haberdashery shop today and see if they sell any of that, like, pleather, fake leather material for the binding of my book. Because you guys know that I'm going to use that, um, this stuff for the majority of it. But I was just thinking maybe the leather with because uh, I've got like wide black lace so I could put wide black lace over the leather that might look quite nice hello welcome back to the evening edition how are you Have you had a good day <coughs> I've been out with my mother today we had lunch I bought fabric mm. I bought upholstery vinyl, black upholstery vinyl for my junk journal. So I'm going to do a little test in a minute and see how it takes being stuck on with that glue onto cardboard and how if I can punch through it because <laughs> I need to be able to put my eyelets in it. And I'm sort of like, oh shit, I hope hoping that I can punch through that and a layer of cardboard. It's probably going to end up being two layers after I've folded it all around and yeah so i'm hoping that punch can do it <laughs> if not i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do 
so I'm going to have a little experiment probably in a minute while this is all editing and uploading and all that rubbish and uh, we will see <laughs> so right I did the challenge this morning didn't I yep um, I have had a drink uh, uh, yes I did craft I did some knitting while we were at lunch about today well let's do that now poorly I've gone with poorly I feel like crap Daryl is very mm, and whingy and because he feels like crap and he's tired it's the end of the week you know what kids are like <coughs> excuse me so yeah he's feeling very ugh. oh I haven't done the I've done a bit of the garden I've done all of it I meant to go back and do the rest I have to go out there in the dark <laughs> Day face cream, makeup, challenges, boots, can. I haven't had chips, so I can I can actually do that. I crafted, I've done about today. And the garden. Yeah, so he's feel you know what kids are like when they're feeling a bit poorly and they're tired and just, you know. It's only the second week of school, so he's still adjusting. And um needless to say he's quite tired and a bit Pathetic, I suppose, is it's the only term I can come up with. Um, this damn pencil case thing won't stand up. I got it so that everything would stand up, and it doesn't because everything's in the pocket. It just slowly tips over. So, yeah, um, my mood's been better today. Pain's been okay. I haven't done anything else at all. Yeah, I wrote that and that in the wrong fucking place. So, I'm really cross with myself. So I'm gonna have to rewrite it, which means it just looks crap now. And it has to be tomorrow night, because that's the only day that Kyle is really free to babysit. And Callie's babysitting for me on Tuesday, so I don't really want to ask her to do Sunday and Tuesday. Because she gets huffy. <laughs> I can't wait till she has kids. So that when she goes, Mum, can you babysit? I can do all the... <gasps> Oh, so like she does with me. <laughs> right. Well, that, that's that's it, really, isn't it? So yeah. So post-wise, what have I had come? I've had this. Like I said, do you want a live on this or do you want a video on this? It's the um, ooh, upside down frame punch board. I could do either on that. I got some Tim Holtz journaling cards. So um, I thought I'd do a video on looking at each of these to have, you know, see, see what we gotta do. And then after I've had an experiment on the upholstery vinyl that I bought, which it, I bought it because it looks like leather, kind of, you know, um, just to see how if I can A, glue it using that glue or whether I'm gonna have to order some Fabri-Tac and B, can I punch an eyelet through that and some <coughs> um cardboard is the stuff that i stuck this onto basically so i'm going to go cut another flap see if it glues down how well it glues down and then if i can punch it tomorrow really i'm going to see if i can do two layers of vinyl and a layer of cardboard because when i wrap it i'm going to wrap it up, if you imagine that that's the entire spine I would do it up and over the top and down a little bit to reinforce it yeah and then I think I'm going to mat the insides this bit with some pretty paper and maybe put a pocket in I don't I'm not sure yet but so I, I need my eyelets to go through the cardboard and two layers of the, the the vinyl so I've got I've got some pretty flower eyelets but I don't want to use those on the cover because I think having several in a row might look a bit uh, so I've got to dig out my plain eyelets I'm not 100% sure where they are so yeah I'll dig those out and we will, I will have a play and let you know tomorrow how I got on but tonight I'm just going to glue it down and we'll go from there so yeah <coughs> so there we go. I apologise for the coughing, the sneezing and the generally sounding like shit. 
Oh, I've got the fence dude coming tomorrow. It's not that week. So fence man coming. I don't know what time, just in the morning. So if I just put AM, I'm about a fence. He's coming just to do a final check to see what I need because I know I don't have enough panels and also it was recommended to me by the guy down the road that I perhaps get concrete baseboards because it will make the fence last longer because the fence then won't be sitting on earth <coughs> so yeah so I've asked him do I need those so he's gonna come around tomorrow and we'll discuss that so there we go I don't know what time though, so it better not be fucking early because I plan on having a lie in tomorrow. Although, at the moment, with the whole getting used to school, anything past half past six is a lie in. But I've got a feeling Daryl will sleep quite late tomorrow because he's feeling quite gotcha. I've literally just put him to bed. There was a spider, no word of a fucking lie, like that at the top of my stairs. We both went upstairs like this and I was like holding on to him. <laughs> and I've put him to bed and then um, got a, a big two litre job. Just got a big two litre jug and my dustpan and, and, and managed to get it in the jug and then put the dustpan over the top of it and took it outside and threw it in the road <laughs> fuck off, fuck off. I nearly threw the jug and everything you know half the house after it uh, <laughs> went back in went upstairs said to him it's gone I've got rid of it come back downstairs I've been filming for less than 10 minutes and he's out he knows I'm online because he, could, he, could, he heard me but I think he was asleep before I even started to be quite honest <coughs> so there we go so I think a lie in and a peaceful day tomorrow will be quite nice yes I could handle that so there we go please feel free to give this video a thumbs up <laughs> please give it a thumbs up <laughs> leave me a comment down below I appreciate the comments every comment gets a response whether it's a like a love or a written reply it's usually a love because i do love getting comments it's the first thing i do when i wake up in the morning i don't check facebook or twitter or any of that i check youtube to see if you guys have left me comments and i love that you do i really really do and i really appreciate those of you that watch me do this boring shit every day i don't know why you watch me <laughs> but there you go um I might film the experiments with the leather on the little flap just so I can insert it into tomorrow's today in my bujo and then we can decide as well whether covering the journal is something I do in a live because I could do that on Wednesday but then if it's literally just going to be me covering it and then I'll have to wait for it to dry but then it dried that dried really quick didn't it so I don't know what do you think those of you that are in the know have you used um upholstery vinyl it was all i could get that looked like leather it's nice um it's over there hang on <coughs> oh and i got lace as well because you know you do don't you yeah i mean that's it it's a nice what one and a half to two mil thick it's got fabric on the back that's why i'm thinking it will stick and it'll be quite nice i got some of this that broadery anglais type um lace which i really really liked and i will get more of that and i got some of this as well <coughs> and then i know this is not black but look at that and they've got this it's like daisies and they've got this in all different colors so you can have like um you could have it in black but I wanted like I wanted it to look like real daisies because I thought it might stand out quite nice even though this seems to be going the route of a Halloween type journal um, but they did them in different colour like pink and blue and all that lot centres and different colour petals and so yeah I got a little bit of that as well and I got a load of elastic to do my strings so I'm going to have to wind that up just to get it yeah so yeah I've got a load of this vinyl I've got a metre of it so um, I've got loads, which means I can make at least a couple of journals out of it. I like the idea of using leather to cover it. <coughs> I thought I'd use that spider stuff on this part and that would go underneath the leather. Which I would then put around the outside and then maybe put 
like a bit of lace like that would that go with the I mean I've got loads of different lace I could use and then put that like that oh yeah black and dark and sexy I've, I've got wider lace and you know all sorts I can use so there we go leave me some comments leave me some ideas down below let me know also whether you want all this to be done live so that you guys can join in and laugh at my efforts <laughs> or um you know whether you just want me to do a video and hype laps and talk over it i don't know whatever i i would prefer to do a live but i know not everybody likes watching back on a live i don't so you know i know um mary said the other night she doesn't either so if i do a live it's also choosing what nights to do it because obviously i've got enough here to do a couple of lives but I want to get my journal done because I've only got 10 days until the end of the month so I want to get it done and ready so that I can start using it on the 1st of October okay thumbs up comments click the book ding the bell all of that thank you for joining me today and I will see you in Saturday's edition of today in my boo journal <laughs>